erase my words and then again I write ooh, 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 ooh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I had a lot of good feedback on my last video So today I am gonna tell you guys what to do in Tortola Before we start, I hope you guys find this video well and if you guys have any comments, please feel free to leave a comment below and make sure you guys hit that like button so that everybody can see and subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see more on what to do at the British Virgin Islands. These are my top 4 beaches on the island. If you guys have time to check it out, I would highly recommend these places. Alright, so we just uh, arrived at King Gardens Bay. So beautiful. This one is one of the most popular beaches to go to, where you might encounter a lot of tourists here to really fill the beach. Be wary though, that it is only busy when the cruise ships are docked on the island, otherwise there might not be many people here at all. Regardless, this beach has nice seating, great scenic view of anchored boats and homes on the hill. The best thing about this is that you get service at your seat as well, which includes lots of delicious drinks and snacks. Killer and Bushwhacker are island drinks. They Let's have, get it. They have fresh nutmeg on it, it's really good. Rum and Coke, and what'd you get? Pina colada. Pina colada. Extra cherries. I would say the water here is generally clean, and pretty shallow, so perfect for the ones that can't swim very well. Cinematic time. Tin walking. <laughs> one on the list is Long Bay Beach on the east side. This one I would say could be a hit or miss. This is kind of closer to the airport and while driving it could really take some time to get to. Alright so we just arrived here at the Long Bay Beach and it's beautiful. There's like a couple cars here but take a look. coming here was that it was very quiet but also had seatings and drink services which was great. I also didn't find it very clean here but that could be dependent on the day that you guys go. The water here goes shallow for a little bit and then dunks deep into deeper parts of the water. Are you near? Yeah. Last but not least, this is my favorite hidden gem spot, the Little Bay. This is the road to Little Bay Beach. We don't even know if it's a beach yet. <laughs> Little Bay. The road conditions are so bad, I would give it a zero. But because I can't give it a zero, I give it a one. <laughs> it takes a while to get here, and it almost felt like it a five minute walking adventure from the parking lot just to get here. But upon arrival, it was very secluded and felt more peaceful. This place does not offer any seating or food services, so make sure you bring your own stuff like umbrellas, towels, and other things to get yourself prepared. 
The waves here were fantastic and the beach gradually got deeper and deeper which was nice because you could be standing far away from the shore and still be about waist high in water. My favorite thing to do here is just basically exploring the island and going to the beaches to soak in that sun. The best places to eat is coming right next. This was our go-to place and in the heart of Tortola Road Town, if you're craving some Chinese food with great selections of protein, this is the spot. Yahoo! Simply Delicious has so many selections that you can basically eat what you feel like on that day. Most of the time, I would come here to grab a few items like fried chicken, rice, or steamed veggies. Bitter melon. Stop bitter melon. I've never seen like this light one. The next place that we went to was Trellis Bay Market. This one is located by the airport on Beef Island where it is right on the Trellis Bay. We wanted to try the roti here so we went to the roti hut. Yeah! <laughs> Yummy! It's lighter. Yeah, it's to Thanks so much! The roti here was okay and the portion size were huge. They also had fried conch fritters and I ordered the jerk burger sliders. We got pizza. Here we go. If you're just chilling at home and you need a good pizza fix, Big Brother Pizza, it's in the gas station. These are the best pizza here on the island and for some reason they were so addicting. For the price of these pizza, it was definitely worth it to bring home on those certain days. Cheese. You want a cheese one? Yeah. Look how big these are. You guys like the pizza? You love it? <laughs> the next place I would pick would be Pusser's. It's basically bar food styled and it has good chicken wings, but everything else was just okay. I heard their pizza is worth it, but this time we only got the jerk chicken. So these are supposed to be one of the best wings at BVI. So what do we get, you ask? We got the we got the dry seasoned special one. And we got the Pusser's what it's called. This is their special. The next place we went to was Peg Legs. And let me tell you, it's located in, in the Nanny Caves and it was very beautiful. It's a picture worthy spot, but you can definitely tell it was built for a tourist area. The food here could have been honestly better. Next time, I would just come here for the views and the drinks and the lovely atmosphere. We are just grabbing dinner here at Peg Legs um, Kitchen, I guess. And uh, it's very stunning here, so if you like aesthetic, this is the place to go. So a bunch of people have actually recommended this place to me. And this is probably should be one of the best coffee slash cafes that you can get here on the islands. And it's not too far from the pier, so if you dock from the boat, you can walk here in walking distance. And this place is called Lady Sarah's. My next favorite place for brunch would be Lady Sarah's. This place was one of the better places to eat, especially for the breakfasts and lunch. I would say the prices here are on the higher scale, but you definitely feel like you're getting more than just the fried food here. Going to try jerk chicken today. Right at this shack here. It's just located right on the pier uh, where the docks boat, where the boats dock. And it looks kind of like a food truck. But I heard jerk sauce or jerk chicken is really good here. So must try. If you're looking for like an outdoor spot to eat, I would try the J Blacks. It specializes in jerk barbecue. 
This was kind of like a food truck, but honestly, this was a decently priced place and had very good selections. And if you want to try the jerk sauce, they have a good variety of protein and carbs. And last but not least, if you're on the island, I would recommend trying out some Crandall's. My friend told me about this place early on and also bought some on the first day, but let me tell you, it's the McDonald's of the islands because there's no McDonald's here. Crandall's offers very cheap handheld items to go and dine in, and it's very tasty and also filling. I could eat many of these, but my favorite one is the shrimp. So one of the reasons why I like to eat one of these is the texture on the outside. Kind of reminds me of like a pizza pocket or pizza pop and then the inside is like filled with shrimp and sauce i haven't tried the other ones yet so uh, i'm excited to try them later if you guys are looking for what to do on the other islands i highly recommend you guys follow my playlist below and i'll have videos on virgin gorda Jos van dyke and also annie gata and all the other small islands that i visited and uh you can check those out on what to do there Take care guys, and thank you guys so much for watching. It's recording. Yo, 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 oh wait, where do I look? I don't even know where to look. Yo, 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 guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, my channel, your hand. <laughs> You're gonna fight, we're gonna fight. My other uncle. <laughs> what are those? The Birkenstocks.